Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to episode, what is it, 78 of Forever Slip Drug in a Podcast. I appreciate you all tuning in, son. Um, this episode really is stock of the week, son, and we're going to be talking about Beyond, so please stay tuned. Like always, I appreciate it if you hit that like button, followed by the subscribe button. Stay tuned, you know what I'm saying, to all the content that's being produced this year. I think we're going to have some really great plays coming up, well, starting now already, but... Like I said, stay tuned. If you want to use the description and the link below, well, the link's in my description below. Please feel free to do so. You get a lot of free stuff, free uh, Bitcoin on Voyager. You get stocks on Robinhood, stocks on Weeble, and then some more stuff like on Crypto.com. There's a lot of stuff going on, so participate, right? So, but I kind of want to jump right into it. And Beyond is like this is bringing a lot of conversation this week however beyond is something that i was kind of playing you know some time ago right i've been in beyond for many months now and i'm still standing beyond right son and i do see this stock going crazy so let's just get started son i'm gonna just show you what happened friday right so so on friday beyond hit a high of 73.33 right and the low on friday was what was it 65 65 right son but beyond also was at a low of like fifty eight dollars just what was it, last week right just last week beyond hit a low of fifty eight dollars right son so you got to understand that this stock is below what it's worth and i'll show you that as we move to the weekly chart right son if you look at the if you're watching on youtube of course you can see this this chart or you could just go on your own chart if you listen to the audio podcast like on um apple or whatever spotify you can go to the weekly chart and look at the rsi and see that it is under so well oversold right so oversold means that the price is well below its fair market value right son and if it's overbought that means that the price per share is well above the fair market value so that's how you can look at oversold and overbought the very important things to watch right so what may be on stock you know suddenly move up just a bit not saying that it took off but it moved up a great deal right so i think overall it was about a good like four or five percent move and it's been valid son but there was this article placed um about kfc and they're launching these plant-based chicken nuggets right and they come from beyond and this is good the only thing i don't like about this is the fact that it says for a limited time i don't like that limited time so <clears throat> i'm <clears throat> excuse me i'm continuing to you know take this news as a good thing however i'm also being mindful that this isn't forever but this can open doors to more you know concrete partnerships so let's say this trial or this time of trial well trial yeah say this trial works out very well the product sells and you know the store wants to keep it going they're going to extend this contract and beyond will be used in kfc and then eventually maybe it'll move to popeyes or any other company but it's kind of weird to me because it's like eh, how are you going to be a chicken place and sell fake chicken but then again chicken is chicken for you know whether you want it to taste like chicken or you want it to be chicken and not be chicken as long as it tastes like chicken you should be happy right i guess maybe i don't know but <laughs> But this is going to be good, and this is bullish news for Beyond. But one thing that I want to talk to you about is short squeeze, right? And on Modelly Fool, there's this, you know, there was this article, and they said that, you know, Beyond, it's the number two stock, right? Beyond, a stock with even more short interest is fake meat substitute manufactured Beyond Meat at 39% is short interest is a percentage of its float as a percentage of its float my bad is higher than the usual suspects amc entertainment and gamestop you all know what happened amc and gamestop last year around this time in january stocks went stupid on crazy retarded right so, so what is you know short interest and in how does it make you money right so it makes you money because of something called a short squeeze so with short interest you have a short squeeze and what a short squeeze is according to what people are shorting the stock for, they lose money, right? And then once they cover those positions, meaning they either buy those positions out or they close them out, the only way to close them out is to really buy back your position or you could just take the loss. 
the only way to do that is to make the stock go bullish. And that's what happens, right? When you cover the short shares, the stock gets pushed up because each short turns into a buy. It's kind of confusing, but that's why I put this here, right? So basically for a short squeeze to occur, the security must have an unusual degree of short sellers holding a position in it. The short squeeze begins when the price jumps higher un unexpectedly. So it's an unexpected jump in the price. And the reason that happens is because people cut the losses and exit their positions, which results in mainly a buy in the stock and then the price goes up, right? So it's crazy and, it, and it's really good. So with that being said, there's also more information, right? Number one, the KFC deal. Number two, McDonald's has a, a McPlant burger with Beyond. And also, Beyond has a venture with PepsiCo. So that's really good. And this Yum's brand, you know, edition, which is KFC, is owned by Yum's brand. KFC edition is really going to continue to build more exposure. However, I did um, read an article that was saying that... Um, you know, Beyond was denied a a partnership with, what was this? Um, oh, Taco Bell for, you know, some fake meat pause. <laughs> and then in the same article, um, it says Beyond in 2022 looks like a top growth stock to buy right now. And also it continues to say it has the potential to outperform and deliver some earning surprises, which could lead to a short squeeze this year. Like, I already told you what a short squeeze was. And this is really good because now you can also participate in a stock that will give you great upside. If you look at any chart on Beyond, you can see that there's, it's it's oversold, bro. It's oversold. I hate to say it, but it's oversold. Like, it's a lot of selling happening with the stock. I'm looking at the MACD pause, and I'm seeing that it's curling up on the weekly. The RSI on the weekly is just, it's under... It's, it's oversold, I should say. It's oversold. And it's finally trying to peek back into, you know, decent territory. But even once it gets, you know, what is this line? Once it gets, you know, to... Hmm, once it gets to 30, you're still kind of oversold. I mean, you're not as oversold as being under 30. But eh, until you hit like 50 on the RSI, you pretty much got a lot of upside potential. So I think that Beyond is something that you can continue to buy and continue to watch for. Will it jump overnight? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it's something to play and it's something to put your money into. Beyond's a good company. Once more money stops coming in, starts coming in, which it has, um, Beyond will eventually take off the market cap and all these different, you know, all these different factors come into play. And then you see why stocks take off, right? So Beyond is one of the ones that I'm playing for this whole year and probably for the next five years. You know, I'm, it's in my long-term portfolio, my 401k and everything else. So, hey, once they start paying dividends, it's a wrap, son, I'm telling you. But that's really all I wanted to talk to you about, son. So also, please don't forget to check out Jermaine's Hustle Class. Great podcast, great content. Uh, if you're interested in joining the group, son, just hit me, you know, always on Instagram, Twitter, not really, but just hit me up on Instagram or something or hit the email. That's always, you know, decent. But if you have any suggestions, just hit me some, but for now, I gotta go take care.